Hi, my name is Lance Eber, and I'm a former winner of a Hands-On Heroes Award. I'm also on this year's selection committee for all the nominations that were submitted. The Hands-On Heroes program is in its sixth year of existence. The program is a partnership among these five agencies, First Five Merced County, the Family Wellness Council, the Los Banos Community Resource Council, the Week of the Young Child Committee, and the Merced County Local Child Care and Development Planning Council. There are unsung heroes all around us. This year's winners are no different. The winners this year are touching on one, two, if not all the items listed in the Children's Bill of Rights. Our winners are having a positive impact in the lives of children in our communities. Let's go ahead and meet this year's winners. I got to know Don before Nancy. I, I was with the American Red Cross uh, 20 years ago, and Don at the time was running the Chamber of Commerce for the city of Merced, and I think he had a business at Merced Mall. So we, we were running in the same circles. And about four years ago, I got to know Nancy, because Nancy was uh, an aide to Assemblywoman uh, Kathleen Galziani. And then when Nancy left government services, she moved into community services, and that's where I started to really know Nancy, because we started working on the same project together. It's been a pleasure to, to, to work with both of them. The project she was working on after she left uh, government services, which, which was the CASA program. If you don't know what CASA is, CASA is Court Appointed Special Advocates, and it's a, a program that advocates on behalf of the foster youth. They mentor the, the foster youth, and so Nancy brought that back, and she worked hard at it, and I saw the heart that she had for youth. She worked with youth on Friday night. They call it Friday Night Fun with foster youth, and she would just take her time to do this and, and I got to know Don a little bit more because Don's basically when you see both of them together they're they're just two peas in a pod right now and so uh, Nancy and Don over the next three or four years as we partnered together uh, we would do things like art projects for foster youth events festivals and and I just saw the heart that they had for, for youth and and when you're taking care of the most vulnerable kids in, in Merced County um, that says something to me and and not only that uh, but you can see from their heart they they really wanted to do it. The last three or four years as I'm watching Don and Nancy do the, the work that they're doing, I thought, you know, who would be good nomination for Hands On Heroes? It was a hands down, no problem for me to say, uh, Don and Nancy, they, they give so much of their time. When I take a look at what they do for the foster youth, and again, you have to understand something about foster youth. They don't trust adults. They, they, don't have a me they don't have a reason to. They've been moved from one uh, placement to another. And so here comes Nancy and Don and saying, you know, I want to help you. And they're like, yeah, sure, right, you want to help us. And, and it takes a lot for foster youth to trust adults. Well, Don and Nancy bring that. They bring their honesty, their integrity, and they say, listen, we're not just here today and gone tomorrow. If you take a look at, she, you know, Nancy and Don have been working with the, the Friday night fun nights for years, and that's just for foster youth. Well, it takes a lot of time for those youth to trust them and say, yeah, you're gonna come back. Well, here it is years later, they're still coming back. And tell me what kind of rich and meaningful experience are these kids getting from, from Don and Nancy when they say what they mean, they mean what they say, and these kids can finally say, hey, I trust an adult again. These kids need someone. Here comes Don and Nancy and they say, okay, we trust you again. They don't have to do this. And here they are doing this, and they do this out of the guidance of the heart. They're, they're at meetings at nighttime. They're doing things on Saturdays and Sundays. They're at events. They love Merced, and they love the kids. They put their money where their mouth is, and that's their time. And, you know, I just take my hats off to them. Merced County should be blessed to have these two. So that's what drove me to write about them. I just hope that I have that much energy that they give to youth, and so to you, Don and Nancy, it's an honor for me to know you and then to call you my friends, it's, it's pretty cool and I love working with you. So thank you for what all you do for Merced County Youth. Shannon about six years ago. Um, I had signed my daughter up for Atwater Youth Recreational Cheer. My daughter is very quiet, very timid, and I wanted to find a healthy environment for her, some place where she could go and meet new people and kind of come out of her shell a little bit. And Shannon was in high school at the time, and she had volunteered to coach Caitlin's cheerleading squad. And so even back then, I could tell that there was something special about Shannon. 
I think Shannon benefits the children of Merced County very much so in the fact, as I said, that she was a coach for Atwater Youth Cheer and most recently she opened up her own gym fulfilling a lifelong dream of hers and she just has this atmosphere and this compassion towards children that is just so fulfilling for them and as a parent it's fulfilling to watch as well. I think Shannon is just a remarkable person. She is an extraordinary young lady. Right now she is a full-time college student. She cheers for Stanislaus State University. She works part-time. She cheers on a competitive squad herself, as well as just opening up this gym here in Merced. And all that is quite extraordinary, but I think the reason I nominated her was just because of the compassion that she shows towards children. She has a motto in her gym, family on and off the floor. And it's not just something that she says or she prints on her t-shirts, she actually lives it. She treats every single child in that gym as if they are her family. One particular example that, that comes to my mind is my daughter Caitlin. About a year ago she was 12 years old and she had to have major back surgery. And Shannon, with everything that she has going on, loaded up her car and hauled all of the cheerleaders to Valley Children's Hospital an hour away just to visit Caitlin. And they brought balloons and banners and get well cards and they put a quilt together with well wishes and they visited Caitlin. That evening, Caitlin had to go on a therapy walk around the nurse's station and all the cheerleaders went with her. And it was quite the spectacle to see all the cheerleaders inside the hospital walking around the nurse's station. It looked like a parade, but it was, it was amazing. I don't think Shannon knew uh, what that meant to Caitlin and what that meant to our family. I think definitely Shannon does champion a dream big experience for children. In her gym, she has children ranging from four years old to 18 years old and as I said, they walk in the door, some with many years experience, some with no experience at all. And they work on specific skills and dances. And many times, like many athletes, they get frustrated. They just, they can't get a specific skill. And Shannon ensures them that with perseverance and practice and a good attitude that they can accomplish anything. They, they dream big and they reach for the stars. I think it's important to recognize Shannon and people like Shannon that are positive role models, especially here in Merced County. It's important for kids to see that Shannon, being as young as she is, is doing positive things with her life. She has a, a can't say no attitude and she instills that in the kids that she encounters. It's very important for kids to see. Shannon, I want to congratulate you once again on receiving this award. You deserve this recognition and so much more. Caitlin came to you as a little girl, very timid and very quiet, and she has blossomed into such a poised and confident young lady, and I attribute that to you. You are considered a part of our family, and you're definitely our family's hands-on hero. We came to know Cynthia oh, many, many years ago. Recommendation from friends, we were looking for a, essentially a preschool daycare for our children, and Cynthia had come out as, as just incredibly highly recommended. My wife is in contact with Cynthia's daughter, Michelle, who is also a local teacher. So they interact, and Michelle, apparently Cynthia is getting ready to retire as an active teacher. I think it's very important to recognize Cynthia's contributions to the community. One, that, that she's going to be not as actively involved and, and we hope that somebody takes up the torch that, that she's lit. Just the fact that the effort she puts into it and the care, we just hope all children have that opportunity. Cynthia Delgado benefits Merced County children by teaching and preparing them for kindergarten and to thrive. We nominated Cynthia Delgado because she is a wonderful person who really cares and is really good with children and deserves it completely. Cynthia offered a stable and nurturing relationship with us because she was another mom when we were with her. She took care of us, she fed us, and she taught us how to write our letters, spell simple words, and basically learn how to socially interact at a young age. I think it's important that we recognize the contributions for Cynthia Delgado because we need more people like her. She's a fantastic human being. I'm gonna call her Mrs. D because that's just how I know her. 
She is an exceptional preschool teacher. We needed a preschool teacher for my two kids, and my wife's a teacher, and everyone recommended um, her, and we were lucky enough to um, get into her preschool. It's school for little kids. By the time they graduate, and she does have a graduation ceremony for them before they go into kindergarten, they can start to read, they know their numbers, they can write their name, they go on field trips. She gets them ready for life and really instills in them what's important and that they're loved. Why did I nominate Mrs. D? It's been rumored she's gonna retire. I hope she doesn't. She's been doing this for 40 years. She's so appreciated. She's done so much for this community and I think it's good that she's recognized for it. As soon as the kids walk in her classroom in the morning, they get a hug. When they leave, at the end of the day, it's another hug. If you see Mrs. D later on in life in the neighborhood, you're gonna get those hugs and she's gonna ask how the kids are doing. She fills these kids with self-confidence, the education, the steps they need to get them ready for kindergarten. Once you're one of Mrs. D's students, you're one of her kids for life. Those kids know they're always loved, they always have the support that they need if they ever need to go to anyone. And um, I think that's why she was a great nominee for this. You see her at the grocery store, hug. How are you doing? What's your grades? I mean, it's personal for her. You are one of her kids. You know, she's done so much. She's gotten so many kids ready for life and education. And it's important to recognize those people that really make a difference in our community, that have lifelong impacts. It's awesome, you couldn't have asked for a better person. When I saw this amazing woman, and I knew I was gonna be well taken care of. Every child that walks into her home, and even children that aren't necessarily part of her preschool program, they're blessed with her, and she just loves them. She gives, she just, she never thinks of herself, and I think that's her biggest asset, is that she's always putting the child first. I think the biggest compliment is when children that she taught are now bringing their children to her because they know that it's a safe and loving environment. It was time that people actually got to see what she does on a daily basis. Um, when you drive by our house, it just looks like a little house on a cul-de-sac, but it's a safe haven for every child that has walked in. And I just think people need to know what Merced County has. The way that Cynthia Delgado champions the home environment for the children in Merced County is the fact that when a parent drops their child off, they know that they're safe, that they're in a safe environment, that the child always comes first. She welcomes them with a hug. She sends them off with a hug. The coolest thing is when the kid says, I love you, Miss Gatto. It's funny when somebody says, oh, your mom's daycare. And we look and we say, no, it's a preschool because they are enriched from the moment they walk in to the moment they leave. And it's so cool to watch them learn how to write their name. And I go home with things to put on my refrigerator from the kids. It's a little mini university for the kids. and and she's the best. She gives nonstop. She provides an environment that when the parent drops their child off, they don't have to worry. And when they pick them up, they see that their child's hair is combed again, their, clean, their clothes are clean, they've had a good meal. She just makes sure, she treats every child that walks into her home like she treats my two children. And I think everybody realizes that they become a part of her heart and they'll always be a part of her heart. Cynthia Delgado is my grandma, my nana. My nana will do anything for those kids. She just cares a lot and she should be recognized for the things she, she does. She was probably one of the first people to hold me. That's how we came in to contact and we've been pretty close since that moment. My Nana benefits the Merced County children by just giving them a safe place to go and to learn. I think she's has the best uh, preschool in Merced County. I might be a little biased by saying that, but I think that if someone were, were to walk through, they would definitely see how great her preschool is. My family nominated my Nana as the hands-on hero because I think that throughout her time she's had the preschool. I don't think she's gotten the public recognition that she deserves, especially with all the kids she's had and all the life she's changed. She's never gotten a big award like this before. And throughout her time, the life she's changed, even my life, she's changed. I mean, I'm a grandson, but I mean, she still had a big part in changing my life. So definitely the big recognition that comes along with this. Uh, Cynthia from, you know, Kelly, myself, uh, Alex, Max, Jared, the whole family. We want to thank you very much. Uh, the kids have turned out fantastic. It takes a village, I guess, was, was the theory, and, and they started in your village and did a great job. And anything we can do for you, you know, you know, we're there for you. Congratulations, Cynthia. I'm so proud of you and glad that you got nominated. And we love you and we wish you the best. Mrs. D, congratulations on this honor. You totally deserve it. So proud of you. My whole family's proud of you. You start your day after calendar. Sorry, I'm an emotional person. 
<laughs> the world is a rainbow, one of our kids' favorite songs. And you being in this world definitely makes the world a brighter place. So thank you for all you have done, Mrs. D. Don't retire. Keep doing the great job you do. We love you. Hey, Nonex, congratulations on your award. You deserve it. And I love you very much, and you're the coolest Nana ever. Congratulations, Nana. I love you. Mom, I just want to tell you how proud I am. I know that my two kids had the best environment with you, not only as their Nana, but as their preschool teacher. But um, it's neat when you get the wedding invitations and to the bat mitzvahs and to college graduations. It shows that you truly give 150% to everyone that walks into your house. And I hope that I'm able to impact children's lives in Merced County the way you have. And I love you. Thank you.